Hello everyone. My brain is driving me nuts today, so I am taking my own advice and walking around outside, trying to let my brain run, trying to let my thoughts go through and just see if I can get something kind of settled out. I have a counseling appointment tomorrow and I'm really frustrated with it right now. I feel like at this point I'm not making any progress, um, that I'm kind of stuck because the same patterns keep coming up for me over and over no matter what I do and it's just really frustrating. I um, went in with the intention of trying to get to the root of the problem of what is going on with me, you know, what kind of, I guess, childhood things maybe are affecting me and could I figure those things out and get some healing and be better. Um, but I'm having an issue with what they call dissociation. I have very little memory of my childhood and um, what I do remember is more just bits and pieces or more like feelings of what a situation would be like. Not necessarily a memory of things happening. So I'm really frustrated, you know, I'm thinking like, is it even worth going anymore? Do I find somebody else to go to? You know, do I just keep going and hoping that we can scrape some layers off and then I can remember things? Um, I know that my schedule has been really busy, so that of course stresses me out and then I'm usually at my worst when I'm really busy because I can't, you know, take the time to decompress or other things like that. Um, yeah, I'm having a rough day. I'm not really sure. I'm going to get to my appointment tomorrow, but I'm just going to have to discuss with her my thoughts on that and um, yeah. I'm also the last few days really struggling with loneliness um, and of course it's another thing that doesn't make a lot of sense you know I'm surrounded by people um, I work in a social job I have a house full of people, you know, I have a husband and children and I have a few friends that care about me, but you still kind of sit with this feeling of loneliness that you're just all alone and yeah, <laughs> it never makes any sense. I can never really explain why, I, you know, sometimes I wonder if it's just because you know, I feel like people don't really understand what I'm trying to say. Um, they can't really, there's this little gnats out here. They can't really, you know, get me as people say, you know, um, I try to explain things and they get frustrated or try to give me a solution and, you know, um, it doesn't always make you feel like there's someone alongside you and and the dog is of course trying to get in my lap because she yes you're a lap dog yes yes okay yes girl but um <laughs> I was at church this morning and once again someone is talking about or well what I get out of it I'm gonna have to stand up because she's gonna be all over me what I get out of it is you are made for a purpose and uh, for made for on purpose for a purpose and you know basically saying whatever you are like what the experiences you've gone through and you know your your talents and gifts and weaknesses and personality type is you know made a certain way for a reason and 
you know, everything I read lately or listen to seems to be kind of telling me that over and over. So <laughs> it's interesting. I was like, okay, God, just hit me over the head with it. Yes, I, um, I feel like, you know, I'm a weirdo. I feel like nobody understands me sometimes. Like, I'm alone. I'm lonesome. I'm not alone. I shouldn't be lonesome, but that's not how the brain works sometimes. Um, and, you know, he just keeps saying, like, I made you this way on purpose. I made you this way for a purpose. And I just have to get alongside that. But it's easy to understand in your head, but sometimes it's hard to get it into your heart. And I knew, um, you know, starting this, you know, video on a very, videos, on a very public platform that there would be comments and criticism and you know things that would probably affect me because you know criticism is not something that I like very much and I am very self-analytical so I will take everything to the nth degree and think it out but you know um, when you proclaim what your personality type is and then you have people that want to pick it apart and then tell you why they think you're some some other personality based on you know a 15 minute video or maybe they watch all of my videos whatever um it makes you you know kind of doubt yourself and doubt what you're doing and um yeah so i've kind of been rolling over that stuff in my head too but i i just want to continue to be you know authentic and be who i am and share my good days and my bad days and um, just try to continue to reach people. So, oh, Hedda's back. <laughs> Hello, Hedda. <laughs> so there's my, you know, rambling, look at the dogs here, all wrestling with each other. <laughs> There's my rambling, trying to explain my my brain today. Um, thanks for listening to that. I don't know if it made any sense. I'll watch it back and see. But have a good day. Good have a good day, guys. And I will see you the next time around. <laughs>